If you're looking for some new ways to make money online, then I do recommend checking out user testing. This video is going to give a brief overview on using user testing, doing their tests, getting paid out. I'll be showing you how much I've earned and just give you more information about it. And hopefully that will help you decide if this is something you should try out for yourself. So user testing, if you just go to usertesting.com, a page like this should just show up. Now I'm not sure how many countries um, user testing currently is in, so I'm not sure if this is available for everybody or not. I think they do limit how many people per each country that they have signed up. So I've heard sometimes they also just are not accepting sign ups. So definitely go to their website and I'm sure it'll let you know if you're able to sign up or not. That chiming sound you keep hearing, if you are hearing that, that is actually whenever I get a new test available. So I'm going to leave that on just because that will give you kind of an idea when you are using user testing. That's something that you may hear quite frequently. So on this homepage, it'll kind of go over what user testing actually is. So basically, as a person doing the test, you are going through different tests, different prototypes. Sometimes they're websites, sometimes they're apps, um, sometimes you record your face as well. Other times you actually might do a live interview where you um, kind of do a type of Zoom, like a video chat, and you meet with somebody and they ask you questions or they just want to see you test something out. So it's definitely really cool and it's different all the time. Businesses will use this to get an idea on how people are going to perceive their new design or their product or idea or sometimes they just want to get more input from people who would potentially be consumers of their product. So you can hit start here and create your own account. It is 100% free to start, at least as of right now when I'm creating this video. I have not paid anything to user testing. This has all been completely free. So that is one awesome thing about it that you don't actually have to pay any money up front. So I'm going to hit get paid to test and this will show um, your sign up. You can just put in your email address and sign up. Obviously, read their own terms of use and privacy policy. Make sure you're okay with everything. And it goes over how it works. You apply um, and you do take a practice test. And I'll kind of go over some tips and tricks for that as well. More like, Not really tricks, more just tips for it that I probably should have researched before I took it myself. And then if all that goes well and user testing is wants to add you, then you can start answering um, screening questions. That way you can get matched with certain tests to take. And then you can finally start taking tests and then you can make money online. So they have some FAQs as well and testimonials, but let me just move on to my actual dashboard. So this is the user testing dashboard. Now I'm going to be very transparent throughout this video. So when I first started user testing, this is not what my dashboard looked like. And that might sound a little confusing at first, but it was not. When I first started, even for the first few weeks when I started, majority of the time I would log on and this would have a zero. I would sit here for hours and hours. I mean, I'd be doing something else, but I'd have my laptop up all day. And this was when I wasn't currently working a full-time job. And there would be nothing or one an hour or two an hour and I rarely ever qualified for one like it took a while and it took me hours of time to qualify for a test so just because there's all these tests on here doesn't mean I qualify for any of them so at the top here you have uh, available tests and these are the ones that you can take your test history which I'll show later on in this video and that will show how much money I've actually earned your profile, which is where you can edit kind of like your demographics, things like that to get you more tests that should um, hopefully align with your skills and your experience better. And then messages, I think is just messages between uh, businesses and you in case they need to talk to you or need to send you anything. I think that's usually used for the moderated sessions, the ones that are face to face, the live conversations and then help center uh, is probably self-explanatory. And then up here is your actual user ID, which I'm going to blur mine out just for security reasons. Um, and then you have your current rating, which I currently have a four and a half. So the higher rating you have, the better chance that you are to actually get tests. So, and the more tests that you do, 
the better chance to get more as well. So at the top here, these are pretty much surveys that you take and you don't get paid for these, but in case you qualify, you could then get invited to do a test and that can definitely be helpful. The tests are going to vary in the amount of money you're going to get depending on the test. So the most expensive are definitely the live conversation. I mostly see $60 ones. I have seen $90 and I believe there is $120 and I'm not sure if it goes any higher than that. Um, but it'll tell you what you need, like what device. This is Mac or Windows. It'll tell you how, how long it is and then what kind of test is. This is a live conversation. And then scrolling down this $10 one, all you need is an iOS or Android smartphone. And it can tell me, like it tells me here to go on my phone because I do have the app as well. And then this one is Mac or Windows computer. This one is a face recording Mac or Windows computer. And you just keep going down the list and you go through the different options. I'm not going to show that because I don't think I'm allowed to. But if you qualify, there's some confetti and then you can start the test. Keep in mind that these tests will be going in and out. So a few times I've qualified and then all of a sudden it's disappeared. And that is probably going to be a negative uh, for user testing. There are a few negatives I'll kind of get out of the way right in the beginning. So that's one. Two is that it can take a long time to qualify for a test. I should go through all 55 of these up here. It says 55 and I cannot qualify for a single one. So I just spent maybe 30 minutes or so going through and I didn't qualify for anything. Therefore, I made no money. And the more up to date your profile is, the better chance that you're going to get some that you will qualify for, but it's still not guaranteed. So another negative is that sometimes there are glitches with the website or the app. I've had a few times where I had a problem and it didn't upload and I didn't get paid. And then I had other times where I had a problem, but I still get paid. Um, or sometimes I think they'll even give you some sort of, not reimbursement, but some sort of extra money for your time. But every company is going to be different. Every test is going to be different. Um, another negative in the very beginning, like I said, that this was zero for a long time. I was struggling to get any tests. Um, and then when I did get them, I didn't always qualify. So it was very, very difficult starting off trying to actually make some money with user testing. But let's get into the positive. So positive is that this is completely free to sign up. Like literally, it doesn't cost you anything to sign up and your earning potential is unlimited. There is no cap as far as I know on how much money you can earn with user testing. So this can be an amazing form of a side hustle or some side income. However, you do have to have access to your phone or computer and constantly be doing tests or at least be making sure that you're doing this once or twice a day if you really want to make money every single day. In my opinion, that's what you'll have to do. But another positive is that you do get paid out fairly quickly. So you actually get paid out exactly a week later and I believe mine is through PayPal. I'm not sure if they have other ways to get paid, but it's literally to the minute. So if you take the test on Tuesday at 2.54 p.m., exactly a week later on Tuesday at 2.54 p.m. you'll have your money. So I think that is actually a great part of it because it is a way to get cash pretty quickly. So I do absolutely love that. Um, I have had a pretty good experience with user testing other than the few glitches and website or app issues I've had. Um, overall, it's actually been pretty good. I've had a few tests where they weren't really working or whatever I was testing wasn't working. Um, but I'm learning how to navigate those. They actually have options to like report a test isn't working or things like that. So definitely make sure to read all of the rules. I feel like I jumped in without actually doing any research and that was part of my problem. Um, but overall, I think user testing is great. So let me move over to test history. Some more positives here. Definitely the money, but also that you can work for this anywhere. Um, like obviously I think it does depend on the country, but I could work this if I'm on vacation. I could do it quickly if I have an extra five minutes. The tests do normally take about 10 minutes if you're doing the shorter ones. There are some five minute tests, I believe that you get, I think like $4 for, but most of them are the 10 minute tests. But if you only have like 15, 20 minutes, then you definitely could do a test within that time if you qualify. So I've earned a total of $211 with user testing. I have zero pending because I haven't honestly had time to do this and that is one negative is that I feel like 
sometimes I don't want to put effort into it because I might spend 30 minutes and get nothing in return where I can make the YouTube video or I could start working on a new book for KDP or a new Etsy listing, etc. Um, so that is one downfall that you're not guaranteed to actually qualify for a test and make any money. But if you do have the ability to have your laptop or your phone open or even your iPad or if you have a few hours to spare and you're just aren't really doing anything, then I think this is definitely great. And that's pretty much what I did while I wasn't working. I just had this up a lot of the time and that's how I was able to make money. So I've done a total of 25 tests and my most recent one was June 15th, which was a little over a month ago. Like I said, I haven't really had a lot of time to do user testing anymore, but before that, like I have made a decent amount like here in May, I have a few, and this is one of those $4 ones, and let me go to um, next. Let's go to some of the older ones here, see when I actually started. So, I started on April 4th, 2023, and this is when I did my practice test, and I got four stars, and I played at 6, 16 p.m. So, this is about April, May, June, about three months of work. Um, I made $211, and for June, I only did one test. So, I did make a decent amount of money, in my opinion, about $100 for the first month and second month. And I think if I had more time, then I definitely could make more because I started now recently getting a lot of available tests. So, if I could still do this all day and be constantly looking for ones to qualify for, I probably could make more. I just can't do that with my full-time job now. So, you do get ratings for your tests. Not all of the time. Companies don't always do a rating but it's definitely very helpful. Your rating is your average of your last, I want to say it's 10, but I'm not sure on that, uh, 10 tests or something like that. And they definitely do help you get more tests if you have a positive rating. So I got four stars for my very first one and that wasn't bad, but I think that may have actually impacted why I didn't have as many tests in the beginning. I think some companies only want to work with people who have five stars. So some tips I have for you is to always be speaking out loud. That is one thing that I struggled with a little bit in the beginning. Like they literally mean they want you speaking the entire time. Like you can take a minute to pause, of course, or like breathe and stuff like that. But if there's more than a few seconds, like two or three or four seconds that don't have any words then that's not what they want. They want you talking out loud, going through your thought process. They want you to go into detail. So honestly, go into way more detail than you think you probably need to. They don't want you to rant for an hour, but you just want to make sure you're going through all the detail of what your thought process is and just keep on talking out loud. And that is probably really my only main tip. Uh, make sure you have a good microphone your phone should probably be fine if you have an iPhone, but make sure that you that they can hear you, that your voice is clear. Make sure there isn't a lot of noise in the background or a lot of distractions. So those are my main tips for that. And honestly, just be honest. Definitely be honest. There's no point in lying. If you are found out to have lied or have stewed the test in any way, then you're definitely going to get banned from user testing. So I don't recommend doing that. Be honest, be clear, make sure you can be heard, have no distraction, have a quiet background, and just make sure you're continuously talking throughout um, the whole video, going over your thought process for whichever the test is. So, overall, do I recommend user testing? Uh, yes and no. I think user testing is one of the better platforms for this, although I haven't really tried too many others or checked them out a lot, so I'm not sure I can really give a huge opinion on that. So take that however you want to, um, but I think this program is great. I've been able to make a decent amount of side money for me at least. I mean, $211, that pays a little more than my car payment, so that's pretty nice to have extra cash. Um, but if you don't really have the time to go through all of these tests, then it's probably not for you. And if you want something that guarantees money, then it's probably not for you either. And you definitely need some patience in the beginning while you're waiting for tests to come through. So I do recommend it if this is something that you'd be interested in and be wanting to try, but I don't recommend it if you're looking to like get rich overnight or make thousands or something like that. I do think there is an opportunity to make a lot of money with user testing. I just think it's going to take a lot of time and effort in order to get that. And a lot of money is relative to everybody. So 
to me, making a few hundred dollars is like a decent amount of money and a thousand or more is a lot of money. So I think you definitely could make a thousand a month with user testing, but you'd probably have to be on here every day for a while. Um, but it definitely is going to vary because if you end up qualifying for a lot of those live conversations, then it's really not going to be as difficult because you make a decent amount of money for those. So I hope this video was helpful and I'd love to know if you tried user testing, what your review is, and if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. But I don't work for user testing. I'm not an affiliate. I don't even think they do that or anything like that. I'm simply just sharing my experience uh, with user testing since I started it in April 2023. So thank you so much for watching and listening to this video and I hope that you have a great day.